What's going on there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the Incipio off-grid battery case for iPhone 4. Now this is a lithium polymer cell with a 1400 milliamp hour capacity uh, compared to the iPhone's 1420 milliamp capacity, so it nearly doubles the life of your iPhone and does a very good job at it. Now the price of this is going to run you $69.99, which again is $10 cheaper than the comparatively priced and the direct competitor, the Mophie Juice Pack Air. And I feel that the Incipio for $10 less has a bit of an edge over its competitor. And I'll get into why here in this review. So in the case itself, you are going to find, uh, well, the case, and a micro USB cable which is used to charge and sync the device. Yes, sync. This is nice to see as well, because even though you lose your 30-pin dock connector down here on the bottom, you are able to sync to your computer and to iTunes and back up your music and back up everything of that sort without having to undock it from the case, which is really nice to see. Again, these are lithium polymer cells, which means they're rather dense. Uh, so this case isn't the lightest, it adds about 40% weight to your iPhone. That being said, it doesn't become too heavy to hold in your hand, and because of this, because of the denser cells, they have been able to make them super, super thin. This is one of the thinnest, if not the thinnest, battery case I've ever used. Don't get me wrong, it does add bulk, but the bulk is minimal, and this is about 20% thinner than that of the Mophie Juice Pack Air, and that's again really nice to see. Now, the Incipio off-grid is great because it allows you to see your capacity left in the battery right here down on the bottom, and you also have control of whether or not to turn the case on or off. Now, what you need to do to uh, get it to work with your iPhone is just simply take your iPhone and slide it in from top to bottom. The great thing about this is it will allow you to use a front facing and a rear screen shield. There is unfortunately no lay on the table design with this case, however, so long as you have a screen shield on the front, which you are able to have because you know you don't have this uh, you don't have these edges coming over the top like the Mophie Juice Pack Air, uh, your screen will be protected. So the problem is though, is they do not include one in the case, so you will have to go out and buy your own screen shield, which is a bit of a bummer. Now this top end piece has be always been my biggest beef with the Mophie Juice Pack Air. Mophie just can't seem to get it right, and I think Incipio nailed it head on. Um, Incipio is just super easy to slide on uh, once you get it on. <laughs> uh, there we go. And as you can see, that is a very, very nice uh, fit. There's no gap like the uh, original Mophie Juice Pack Air, and uh, it doesn't come all the way down like the current Mophie Juice Pack Air, creating an ugly back of the style case. This still looks very sleek, very executive, and as you can see, I have the matte black color here, which is a great soft touch plastic. This is a special edition uh, version, and by default, you're only able to get it in glossy formats in white, black, red, and pink. However, I think you may be able to find this matte version uh, from a couple distributors. I don't know absolutely for sure. Um, now, as you can see, again, this is, you know, it's not the thinnest case. There is a little bit of a recession down there into your camera. So this does add quite a bit of bulk. I'm not saying that it doesn't because it does. However, it is conformed to your hand in a nature that makes it very easy and quick to hold. Now, there's also a flash diffuser inside here, so you're not going to have any problems with the flash despite how recessed the camera is. And it's just a really easy way to take pictures with flash. I, just, I mean, there's really no issues at all, which is, again, nice to see because um, a lot of cases that are a little bit thicker around the edges have this issue. On the front, again, it's flush with the display, which is a downside for some. I like it because it personally doesn't add any bulk, but you will probably want your own screen shield. Now, down here on the bottom, you can see two ports, and then there's also one right here. These are tunnels that diffuse and uh, help distribute the sound and the microphone as they are plugged off with the case. That being said, though, I did notice that you know the microphone continued to work marvelously. There was no distortion. Uh, callers on the other end could still hear me just fine. And the speaker was pretty well done. D I don't, don't get me wrong, there was a little bit of dampening on it. I mean, it didn't seem quite as loud. However, um, oftentimes you'll probably find yourself cupping the uh, phone itself to get the sound to filter towards you. This does it automatically because of this part. So even though I think the sound was a little bit uh, less loud, it was a little bit more quiet. 
Um, I felt like it was more directional and thusly you didn't need it turned up all the way anyway. Uh, so, you know, that may be a downside for some. For me, it didn't really matter much because I didn't use my speakers hardly at all, but that is something to note. Now on the side, you do have full access to your volume switch as well as your rocker. As you can see, there is a bit of a gap here. That's because it is both AT&T and Verizon iPhone 4 compatible. Again, nice to see. Now on the top is where I start to have beefs with the case. Now right here, this is great, you have full access to your sleep-wake button. It is recessed, so it's easy to get into. Uh, you know, you don't have to put your finger dead on them, you just lay it on the side and you're able to activate that button. But look at that headphone jack. That has ought to be one of the most recessed jacks I've ever, ever seen. It's horrendous. Now, I'm gonna bash Incipio pretty badly because of this, because you guys know uh, a lot of headphones don't fit in there very nicely, and as you can see, this is ever so slightly uh, disaligned. So even headphones that were recession-proof uh, had a little bit of trouble going into this case. Now you do have a microphone opening for the external mic or the secondary mic there, um, but again, this is going to be really hard to get in. Granted, you can pull the case off and then plug it in that way, and then when you're done listening to music or uh, you're done plugging line in or whatever, you can uh, throw this top back on. But again, the top uh, takes a second to throw on, and it's really just a bummer that that uh, cutout up here wasn't slightly bigger. That being said though, to activate the actual case, you hold this button down right here and you'll see that it is charging full speed ahead. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it is a 1450 milliamp battery cell. However, compared to the 1420 milliamp hour cell on the iPhone, I didn't notice this to be much better. In fact, I actually found it to be worse than the iPhone 4 itself. Uh, this only, for me, gets about 70% charge, which don't get me wrong, is great. I mean, as a daily driver, when turn about five or 6 p.m., ah, oh, crap, battery's dead. This is great because you don't have to plug it in during the day. That being said, this is not gonna be good for your transcontinental flights where you need an additional 10 hours battery. This is only gonna provide about 70%. However, 70% battery is pretty substantial considering how minimal the bulk is on this device compared to that of the Mophie Juice Pack Air, but again, you do have to keep in mind there is bulk added. So really, the question is, do you need extra power? Do you find yourself plugging your iPhone 4 in day in and day out? Me, personally, yes, because I'm huge on the iPhone and I use it all the time. And up until now, I've just carried an external battery with me or plugged it in periodically throughout the day. Now, this is not a big deal. Uh, you just plug it straight in uh, when you need to charge up the battery and it'll charge the iPhone and the case simultaneously. Again though, this is not for everyone. If you need a ton of power, this is probably not going to be your best bet and I would go with the $100 Mophie Juice Pack Air Plus. However, if you need only about 70% per day and you don't want to add a substantial amount of bulk and you're not a battery case kind of guy, which I'm not, you may find yourself really liking the Incipio off grid. So my final review on this is going to be a 6 out of 10 simply because it still is a battery case. It does add a little bit of bulk. There is that recessed headphone jack. But that being said, a 6 out of 10 is pretty good because I hate battery cases and I have really found this, uh, found myself using this more days than I had ever anticipated. So Incipio did a great job with it. Again, it's not for everyone, but if you do find yourself needing power, it should be a worthy solution to your woes. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.